Rachel then just got home there from Old Trafford where it has finished Manchester United nil, Manchester City 3 and well what did I think of the game well basically I've already said it on my match review I don't know what I thought about the game we played absolutely dreadful yes dreadful more or less and well because of that Manchester United fall to their fifth defeat in the league campaign and well I did actually see a fact which is quite scary which I will put up to you now Manchester United have only led 29 minutes in a game at home. 29 minutes in a Premier League game at home. That, for, well, one of the biggest clubs in the world, is absolutely embarrassing. Yeah, it's embarrassing, right? You don't do that for, normal, for a normal team, let alone if you're Manchester United. So, that doesn't help. That does not help. And, yeah, simply, we got battered. We got battered, really. First half, I thought we were all right. Second half... Uh, it was a whole kettle of fish, that one. Well, yeah. Uh, first goal, let's talk about the penalty. Bit controversial, to be fair. I mean, I can see why some people say it were. I can see why some people wouldn't. Personally, I don't think it were a penalty. But it was, even if it was, it was very harsh. Put it that way, it was very harsh. I have definitely seen worse than that, let's just say. I've seen worse than what Hoyland did to Roderick. Then obviously Haaland scored. Very good penalty there by Hoyland, by Haaland. You can obviously see that on the match vlog. Then we just got embarrassed second half. Second half was pure, pure, pure embarrassing. Haaland scored his second of the night. Made it 2-0 in the 49th minute. Just like that in the second half. And yeah, we were just dreadful. We were basically tap, 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 tap. Haaland found a way. Goal, 2-0. Basically, I think somebody crossed it. Haaland went dumb. Bullet header, header, 2-0. Then the third goal, third goal was even more embarrassing, I think. Even more embarrassing, to be fair, the third goal. It was like, Haaland crossed it, Haaland passed it there to Phil Foden. Open goal, oh, Nana couldn't do anything. Boom, 3-0, game, set and match. And just like that, then Manchester United have lost another game. And there will be some fans who will be questioning Ten Hag. Obviously, Ten Hag did get booed when he did sub off Rasmus Hoyland. And uh, I can't remember who he put on, you know, Hoyland. I can't remember who they put him on for. Maybe Garnacho. But uh, Garnacho, I think, should have come on. But I don't think Ireland should have come off. So it were like that. So the boot, I can get, were understandable. But pressure will be mounting on Ten Hag now. And I mean, serious pressure will be mounting on him. If we don't if we don't win these next two games, which are against Newcastle and Fulham, Newcastle not guaranteed to win. Fulham, we are. They will be pressure on. And they will be pressure on to the point where... Even most United fans that didn't think Eric Ten Hag could get sacked may end up getting sacked. And if that is the case, well, I think our season's over pretty much if Ten Hag gets sacked. And I think Manchester United are done for if United sack him. I don't see a resolution with United that, well, we can improve. 
I don't see it. I don't see that with Manchester United. I see, obviously, when Tanai goes, what we're going to do then? Which manager are we going to get in? We don't know, obviously. You've got the likes of Conte, Zidane. Conte's only a one-season wonder. Zidane could be, a, could be a deal, but, well, he has no affiliations with Manchester United. So, yeah, they're obviously candidates, but it's who will take the job. If Eric Tanai does end up getting the sack, we will see. But that is my match verdict and just like that let's move on to how good the manchester city fans were out of 10. so this right here is what i thought of the manchester city fans so i'm gonna give them a very pleasable seven out of ten and well the reason why i did give them a seven out of ten is because i do think they do have very good away fans i think the away fans are loud and they do they well most city away fans are passionate and they do make a noise that is what I will say. Typically, you think Manchester City being a team that well has no fans, has fans since 2010, all that. However, even though they might, all of the fans now might be going on the bandwagon, the fact that most of the, uh, the kids are joining on the bandwagon, the fact that they're a good team, they have very good away fans. They have very good away fans. And I could hear them non-stop during that game, full 90 minutes, I know even if it were Manchester Derby, I could still hear him all 90 minutes, and well, they got the win which they wanted. The Poznan was impressive, I mean, personally for me, it felt like it took the P out of United fans, but well, still, we were 3-0 down, City did the Poznan because we thought, you know what, why not, suck it, we'll do that, and uh, that, that, that were very impressive, that were impressive, I will give them credit. And they do have better away fans than home fans, like I said before. The home fans, stereotypically, they don't make much noise. I mean, I hear, well, every time I do watch a Manchester City game on TV, I don't really hear much noise until the goal happens. That is it, really, with Man City. However, in the away fans, it made you feel heard that you had the City fans right behind you cheering your team on. That is what I will say there for Manchester City. And just like that, they've got 7 out of 10 on my rankings. So what does this mean? They will join the likes of Wolves, Nottingham Forest and Copenhagen, which, for my opinion, is a very impressive list to be on there for Manchester City. Well, typically, they don't really have good fans. However, like I said, the away fans, I thought they were very good. They made a noise. They were passionate. I, think, I still think Galatasaray are the one to beat. They are obviously the 8 out of 10. However, they still did well, City fans. They still made a noise and be presence to hurt. But I still don't think they are the point which they are the best fans I've ever seen as of yet. So I am going to give them a 7 out of 10, which is on par with Wolves, Nottingham Forest and FC Copenhagen. And just like that, then we will get going. So if you do have a video, if you do say something, you really mean a lot to me, but you don't have to. As I shall go, see you soon. Stay safe. Talking to you then in a while. See ya and bye bye.